Hi. We continue with our series on the state of the Church of God. And we're here to say that the Word of God is a spiritual weapon. A very, very powerful one. Jeremiah 5.14, there the Lord says that he will make God's words in our mouth as a fire. <laughs> what will be this fire where they see oh, this cross fire, this man of God against this one? This no, 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 no. You see, in the time past, the word of God has come under attack, but we do not pay attention to it. Just like mm, we they talk safe, we turn our face. I gave you an example of Ahmed did that. One of the clerics of our half brothers, all he does is just preach the Bible. You know, they preach another thing again. We just pick a, a sentence, run with it, and begin to dissect it, not minding that there are verses for or against, even whole chapters. That discussion may have started. And now we are commenting, and we are saying no because it has to do with the who, who is who in our world. No, 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 no. The word of God is a weapon, yes, but it's not a weapon for us to attack one another. It's not a weapon to say, you, you are a fake man of God, you are this, you are not doing well. Hey, I call you out. Hey, I bring you out. The members support. No. It is a weapon for us to use against the enemy, not against ourselves. That's why we are speaking. That's why we are saying no. That's why we are saying, talk your own, I talk my own. That's why we are saying, leave it alone. Let the strife go. The bloggers have entered now. You know those ones. <laughs> when those ones start, you know the end. Because you that you are the custodians of truth, you that you should hold your matter secret, you, shall, you that you should hold your matter with reverence, you are using it to play football. People come and help you play football. <laughs> One of my, someone I know, a neighbor somewhere years ago, left the husband, part and left. And I was just sitting not too far when one other neighbor came back. Another one was narrating. Then that one said, ah, see what happened, see what happened, see what happened. I was just reading. I just, I took my books, I was reading outside. Then the other one said, what did you do? When she was packing, he said, ah, hey. When you know counting, husband has to send it in the pack, I help him pack in good now. So I have a paper, I meant to pack the road back and they put for his moto. Some self even give more money to pack self. Several I've seen uh, in counseling women come, come to say, Mommy, please help me with money. I always ask, What do you want to do with the money? And I was amazed two or three. Say, I want to leave my husband. I said, <laughs> Now there you walk out, you miss road. You miss road because this person will come meet you. Lie, 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 I want combo like this. I'll not give it to leave your husband. He said, he said, I'll hear your case. See how we can settle the matter. See how we can enter office and see what can be done. But to say, me give you money to pack your load, come out. Now, me give you money, you know, whatever happened. You see, this is what is happening. Some people take light of the word. And so others, comedians or bloggers, we now come and help you use your faith and do football. So we are saying, no, don't do that. Don't give room for anybody to play football with your religion. Don't give room for anybody to kick ball with your matter. Don't give room for anyone to... This sacred word that has been handed down to us. Ancient words, holy words, keeping you and keeping me. We have come with open hearts, O oh, let the living world prevail. The word of God has been preserved, holy words, ancient words, handed down to us in this age, that we are to hand down to our other generations. We should not be the ones doing football with it. We should not be the ones playing with it. It is a weapon of warfare in our mouths, in our hands, not to attack one another. Jeremiah 5.40 says, I'll make my words in thy mouth fire. <laughs> spit fire out for the enemy, not to spit fire against another man of God. Jeremiah 23.29, it's not my word like I say fire and like a hammer. Matthew 4.41, Jesus said to Satan, it is written. It is written. And in case you don't know, 
Ephesians 6, 17 gives us the word of the Spirit, the word of God, as a weapon, as a sword of the Spirit. So let's not be joking anymore. Let's not choke anymore. Give your interpretation and leave it alone. Don't call anyone out. Don't call any name. Let's allow the word of God in our hearts, in our mouths, to be quick and powerful, sharper than any two edges sword, piercing and dividing asunder, spirit, soul, and body. Let the word of God abide in you. First John 2 14. Thank you so very much for sublining with us. Are you out there? You are guilty of this. Ask God to forgive you. Commenting, talking, making ridicule of the word of God. Ask God to forgive you and have mercy on you. And are you out there? You have joined to comment. The blockers say, share your comment. You say, go to carry back, give the right. You know, no, say, you the only sit down there, they put poison for your life. They talk rubbish, talk nonsense. Leave it alone. Don't comment. And you, you are not the one that called them. Leave them alone. Let God be the church. My name is Pastor Mrs. Edith Adake, General C. Abana Vlog Mrs. International. It's an honor and a great privilege for me to come your way, bringing you the word of truth. May the Lord guide you, help you, uphold you, perfect his joy and his peace in your life and my life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you so, so very much for streamlining with us. You may repeat after me, say, Lord Jesus, Forgive me my sin. Have mercy on me. Once you say that prayer, your sins are forgiven. Now, instead of sitting out there gossiping, talking what you do, mean, go pick your Bible. Read your Bible. Download the offline free Bible. Play the word. Read the word. Talk the word. God bless you as you do. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My name is Pastor Mrs. Edith Atake. General of Sierra Band of Lomissus International. It's an honor and a great privilege for me to come your way. On Facebook, we have over 1,200 videos. Nation Building, Missiles of the Truth, Church on the Air, When You Pray and I Pray, on YouTube, over the same. The Lord bless you. His containers of favor and of mercy never leave us all, as we all go and search the scriptures and allow the word of truth to guide and lead us and illuminate our hearts. Go to our Facebook channel, our YouTube channel, all the social media handles almost. Like, share, subscribe. God bless you. Thank you so, so very much. There is power in the word of God. Wonder working power. Don't forget. It's not a weapon to be used against one another, no. But a weapon, a very powerful one. It is the sword of the spirit to be used against the devil, not against ourselves. God bless you.